scalar and vector quantities. Scalar quantity is a physical quantity which has magnitude or size only. An example of scalar quantity is mass as mass is completely described once its magnitude is known. Other examples of scalar quantities include distance, speed, volume, temperature and time. Scalar quantities are added just as any two numbers are added. A vector quantity is a physical quantity which has direction as well as magnitude. Other examples of vector quantities include displacement, velocity, acceleration, weight and momentum. An example of a vector quantity is force, since forces always have direction, as well as magnitude. A vector can be represented by a straight line, whose length represents the magnitude of the quantity, and whose direction gives its line of action. An arrow on the line shows the direction of the force. When several vectors act together from a point, their combined effect is called their resultant. For example, two forces of 3 newton and 7 newton can act together towards the same direction, oppose one another, or act at a certain angle with one another. Vector that act at an angle geometrically by the parallelogram law, which ensures that their magnitudes as well as their directions are considered. The two vectors to be added are drawn, to scale as the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. The parallelogram is completed, and the resultant of the two vectors is represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram. Thank you for taking time to watch this.